Hi, what's up, YouTube? So, I'm YouTube Guns Long, back some more Donkey Kong Country Returns. Last episode, we beat uh, the 7 hour liftoff launch, which is the well that opens up the path to the boss here, which is 7B Fe Feather Fiend. Recording! Okay, that's fine. Go to high V. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, what's up YouTube? Sorry, you can I'm back for more Donkey Kong Country Returns. Um last time I meet uh seven hour lift off launch was which was the level that leads up to the boss because I beat um uh Cog Jock, Switcher Room, Music Madness, and found all the buttons, and then we're jumping up the rocket, and then for a liftoff launch, and then I beat that, which leads to the boss of the Factory World, which is Feather Fiend. Um, not one of my favorite bosses, and one of the two that I have to use banana juice on. But um, anyways, let's get started. Let's we'll see why this is one of my favorite bosses in the game. So. Grab Diddy here and get on these chains. Up and to the right. Okay, run forward. The conveyor belt with a weird looking wood shaped thing. And two holes in it. There's something falling out. Ew, that's a tiki guy. What's the nasty stuff coming into it? It's from a, a ro chicken in a robot suit. Stomping on bananas, so enemies are right from bananas. So that's why they're hijacking all the bananas. So we got an accordion guy controlling the chicken here. And Donkey's not happy about it. So, so he jumps on the conveyor belt, and did he? And let's do this. That guy is huge. I see how this guy is stepping his feet together. It's only four normal hits. It's tough to avoid his feet bump for me at least. Yeah, like that. And you gotta wait him out enough and take and hit him. Uh, well, if I wait him out, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so he hovers up and then he puts his feet apart and then grab the chain to shake the remote and nunchuck to hit him. There, so that's pretty much just repeat the process here. I mean, most people who are good at this game should be able to avoid that, but okay, let's get that second hit on him. Should be able to do this without the banana juice, but for me that's just not in the, not in my skill level. But hit him again here. Oh, and that busts his legs off. And now he's just half the uh, upper half of his suit here. So let's see whatever. Blow through these guys and then. Oh, okay, I should have jumped on him when he plows into the ground. This part's a joke. 
If you have Diggy, you can just roll through him really easily. And jump on him, but you're not supposed to land on him and take a dumb hit like I did just there. Okay, hit him for the fifth time total there. I mean, this is a sad for a seven for a boss. I mean, this should be a lot harder. But, oh well, some nan juice. This chicken has been fried. There's a little accordion tiki dude, whatever. How many hits did I get? Twenty-one. Nice. Music and diagram gallery updated and factory world is beaten. So now There goes that gigantic bat who was stepping in with bananas. No, the bananas! But that beats the factory world. Now we're on to the volcano world. Which is the last world of this game. Unless I said last world, not last levels. A little bit of a teaser there, but. Level 8 1 Furious Fire. Volcano world's annoying, but it's still not as bad as the forest world. So, 8 1, Furious Fire, let's go. Of course, there's lava and rocks and the back end of a factory. Okay. Found that earlier there to get a banana coin. Bought that little fireball. Bouncing fireball guy. That earns us nothing. Little carrot looking or pepper looking things with the propellers on top gives a banana. I don't know if the other two give us any. Okay, first puzzle piece out of five. I can check to see how many there was before I started. Single bananas. For that little tiki dude. We'll want that fire face which gives us a single banana. Single bananas. Banana coin from the earth and gigantic fireball. You say banana coin combo. Koi combo. Coin combo. Get these little pepper things. I'm just gonna call them pepper things so that's what they look like. Okay, so avoid the fireball. What the gimmick this level looks like so far. I didn't even go for that DK bar when I didn't even need it to begin with. So if I take a dumb hit, I wish I hadn't done that earlier, so I that fireball guy by blowing him out there. Bounce off that Tiki. Jump up and get the K. Duck to avoid that fireball. Okay, bounce off that Tiki or him. Pepper thing is this a. Banana coin. However, to get, okay. However, not to get that banana coin right away. Oh gosh. Okay, I see a puzzle piece. Ern gives us a banana bunch. Like I need this fireball here. Face, yes, it's a single banana. Right, let's work our way across these little platforms here without getting scorched to death. Come on. That fireball to get out of my way. Cover. Oh, come. Oh! There's no excuse for me not to get that guy. Urn gives us a heart. Ah! No! Oh, oh, whoops. And you see that platform right in my way. Okay, duck underneath that fireball. Or not! 
Oh, it's right underneath the puzzle piece. Oh, obviously that light at the end of the factory didn't check out, but you can't even hit it, so. What? Whatever. Okay, banana bunch. Okay, single bananas. Tiki, get rid of him. Single banana from that tiki face. Single bananas. Not him from that urn. Banana coin combo. Single banana from one of those jalapeno peppers. Fire peppers or whatever. And gigantic question mark for whenever you die. Oh, come on! Whatever. Wow, this is just bad. Just jump over that dude. Jump over you too. So I just want to get to Diddy, that's all. I think I messed with that stuff. It's not a puzzle piece, so... Yeah. Time that wrong. Let's just get Diddy. So I didn't get the man coin combo there, but... It's not like I got any shortage of them at 540. Yeah, I got him that time. Okay, there's the K. Yo, there's that cheeky out of the way. I'm trying to reach that guy more here. Let's just get him on the platform where he can. So, jump up here and work our way over to the left like we did last time. Ugh! Got the puzzle piece. Look our way back over to the right here. There is Tiki, let's see if this urn gives us anything, and it doesn't. Okay, roll jump. Oh, yes! Got it. Oh, you're gonna pay for that, chump. Ground behind you out of the way. Let's get rid of you before you decide to try to cause me any more problems. Like kidding me? One up. That's the last thing I care about. I want to get rid of you so you can't. There. So I can pound that DK drum safely, but not so safely since I took a hit from him. Okay, hit all three of those guys. Oh, jeez. Wow! Whoa! Oh. Checkpoint though, that was crazy. Well, I'm shooting. Me. Oh gosh, collapsed little platforms. It's a cliff world all over again. Half of everything crumbles. I go after a single banana. Killed by a fireball. There was no logic to that whatsoever. Screw single bananas. I don't want that. I don't want to do that. It means taking a hit. I'll take a banana bunch though. Blowing out that fire base. Crap! Getting ambushed over here. There's the end. Where are the guy who shoots out the blue fireballs? And I run right into a normal tiki guy. Oh, this is going fantastic. 
I did that again. Are you kidding me? What's wrong with me? That was stupid. Let's go after this guy shooting out the blue fireballs first. Yeah, you die. Of course, I'm gonna die if I don't die numerous times so I don't stop avoiding these dang fireballs. Let me get the end. Banging it further in this level. Okay, breakable blocks. A blast barrel! A skull barrel. Be specific. So you just get everything here in this bonus area? There we go! There's why I need a ditty barrel. Pepper gives us nothing. Let's see what the other two do. Banana bunch, I want them. You're that fire tiki guy there. You're a him. Duck in between those. Grab this vine and see if it does anything. Oh, it makes platforms come out. Okay, so let's work our way across, and there's the fourth puzzle piece. Okay. Uh, Pepper gives us nothing there, it looks like. Holding in that fireball in the way. Bought that bouncing fireball dude right there. Uh, a little bit of fire in this little Well, then again, it's a volcano roll. These little blue guys get to be a pain in the butt. <clears throat> Especially when it's in this kind of spot. With the bouncing fire, hopping fireball guy, and the blue fireball guy, and the gigantic fireball that got duck under. There we go, got him. Okay, I took a hit from that bouncing fireball guy. Got rid of both of them, got some banana coins, banana bunches. Single banana from that pair of pepper, fire peppers there. Okay, got rid of that ooh, banana bunch from that uh, tiki face there. Got rid of that hopping guy at the same time. Banana bunch, tiki bounce. Pepper there gives us a banana coin. Pair of peppers gives us one banana coin, single bananas and banana bunch. Oh, these are going to curves. That's great. Something a little different, which is just dodging between them and work our way through these platforms. Oh, jeez. Roll out of my way. There's the final puzzle piece. Exploration pays off. Tricky, to say the least. Single bananas, and there's the G. After him, Ern gives us a banana coin. I don't want the banana coin, though. No, I want the G, and I want to get out of here. That's what I want. Single bananas. There we go. There is the T. Single bananas. Oh, another one of your feet, guys. You die. Oh, that just, okay. Nice! Banana coin, but I don't care. So those platforms are collapsing. So, whatever. K-O-N-G Kong. One, two, three, four, five out of five puzzle pieces. Um, yeah. So, it's the first level out of this world done. So, and home stretch now.
Um, yeah, so we open up Cranky Kong Shop. Oh, let's go grab the key before I finish this level. I didn't finish this episode. Shut the door, you're letting out all the cold air. That makes no sense since we're in a volcano world. Oh, take it! I know what Kong, there's something exciting may happen. Yes, yeah, something exciting happens. As in, irritating happens. It's in the K level, Golden Temple level. Let's open up. Okay, but level 8-2 Hot Rocket. I remember this one and I don't like it because... Let's just say I don't like it and I'll explain it in the next episode. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.